Welcome to Wellness by Mommy. I hope you are safe and sound. In today's video, let's talk about preeclampsia. Do you want to know how to manage high blood pressure, protein in urine, swelling in legs, feet and hands in pregnancy? Then watch this video till the end to understand better and how it is managed. What is preeclampsia? Preeclampsia, formerly called toxemia, is when a pregnant woman have high blood pressure, protein in urine, swelling in the legs, feet, and hands. It can range from mild to severe. It usually happens late in pregnancy, though it can come earlier or just after delivery. Preeclampsia can lead to eclampsia, a serious condition that can have health risks for mom and baby, and in rare cases, cause death. If preeclampsia leads to seizures, then it is called eclampsia. The only cure for preeclampsia is to give birth. Even after delivery, symptoms of preeclampsia can last six weeks or more. You can help protect yourself by learning the symptoms of preeclampsia and by seeing your midwife or doctor for regular prenatal care. Early identification of preeclampsia during prenatal care may lower the chances of long-term problems for both mom and baby. Preeclampsia symptoms, in addition to swelling, also called edema, protein in the urine, and blood pressure over 130-80. Preeclampsia symptoms include weight gain over one or two days because of a large increase in bodily fluid, shoulder pain, belly pain, especially in the upper right side, severe headaches, change in reflexes or mental state, peeing less or not at all, dizziness, trouble breathing, severe vomiting and nausea, vision changes like flashing lights, floaters, or blurry vision. Some women with preeclampsia don't have any symptoms, so it's important to see your midwife or doctor for regular blood pressure checks and urine tests. When do symptoms show up? Preeclampsia can happen as early as 20 weeks into pregnancy, but that's rare. Symptoms often begin after 34 weeks. In a few cases, symptoms develop after birth, usually within 48 hours of delivery. They tend to go away on their own. What causes preeclampsia? Many experts think preeclampsia and eclampsia happen when a woman's placenta doesn't work the way it should, but they don't know exactly why. Some think poor nutrition or high body fat might contribute. A lack of blood flow to the uterus could play a role. Genes are also a factor. Other high blood pressure disorders in pregnancy. Preeclampsia is one of four blood pressure disorders in pregnant women. The other three are gestational hypertension. This is high blood pressure that starts after the 20th week of pregnancy but doesn't cause high amounts of protein in a woman's urine. It usually goes away after delivery. Chronic hypertension. This is high blood pressure that starts before a woman gets pregnant or before the 20th week of pregnancy. Chronic hypertension with superimposed preeclampsia. This is chronic high blood pressure that gets worse as pregnancy goes on causing more protein in urine and other complications. Preeclampsia risk factors. Things that can increase chances of getting preeclampsia include being a teen or woman over 40, being African American, being pregnant for the first time, having babies less than two years apart or more than 10 years apart, pregnancy with a new partner instead of the father of your previous children, high blood pressure before getting pregnant, a history of preeclampsia, a mother or sister who had preeclampsia, a history of obesity, carrying more than one baby, in vitro fertilization, a history of diabetes, kidney disease, lupus, or rheumatoid arthritis. Preeclampsia complications. Preeclampsia can prevent the placenta from getting enough blood, which can cause the baby to be born very small. This is called fetal growth restriction. It's also one of the most common causes of premature births and the complications that can follow, including learning disabilities, epilepsy, cerebral palsy, and hearing and vision problems. Preeclampsia can cause rare but serious complications that include stroke, seizure, 
fluid buildup in the chest, heart failure, reversible blindness, bleeding from the liver, excess bleeding after giving birth. When preeclampsia or eclampsia damages the liver and blood cells, the woman can get a complication called HELP syndrome. This stands for hemolysis. This is when the red blood cells that carry oxygen through your body break down. Elevated liver enzymes. High levels of these chemicals in your blood mean liver problems. Low platelet counts. This is when you don't have enough platelets, so your blood doesn't clot the way it should. HELP syndrome is a medical emergency. Call 911 or go to the emergency room if you have symptoms including blurry vision, chest or belly pain, headache, fatigue, upset stomach or vomiting, swelling in your face or hands, bleeding from your gums or nose. Preeclampsia can also cause the placenta to suddenly separate from the uterus, which is called placental abruption. This can lead to stillbirth. Preeclampsia diagnosis. You have preeclampsia if you have high blood pressure and at least one of these other signs. Too much protein in your urine. Not enough platelets in your blood. High levels of kidney-related chemicals in your blood. High levels of liver-related chemicals in your blood. Fluid in your lungs. A new headache that doesn't go away when you take medication. To confirm a diagnosis, your doctor might carry out these tests blood tests to check your platelets and to look for kidney or liver chemicals, urine tests to measure proteins, ultrasounds, non-stress tests, or biophysical profiles to see how your baby is growing. Preeclampsia treatment. The only cure for preeclampsia and eclampsia is to give birth. Your doctor will talk with you about when to deliver based on how far along your baby is, how well your baby is doing in your womb and the severity of your preeclampsia. If your baby has developed well, usually by 37 weeks or later, your doctor may want to induce labor or do a cesarean section. This will keep preeclampsia from getting worse. If your baby isn't close to term, you and your doctor may be able to treat mild preeclampsia until your baby has developed enough to be safely delivered. The closer the birth is to your due date, the better it is for your baby. If you have mild preeclampsia, also known as preeclampsia without severe features, your doctor may prescribe bed rest, either at home or in the hospital, resting mostly on your left side, careful monitoring with a fetal heart rate monitor and frequent ultrasounds, medicines to lower your blood pressure, blood and urine tests. Your doctor also may tell you to stay in the hospital so they can watch you closely. In the hospital, you might get Medicine to help prevent seizures, lower your blood pressure, and prevent other problems. Steroid injections to help your baby's lungs develop faster. Other treatments include injections of magnesium to prevent eclampsia-related seizures, hydrolyzine or another blood pressure drug. For severe preeclampsia, your doctor may need to deliver your baby right away, even if you're not close to term. Afterward, Symptoms of preeclampsia should go away within one to six weeks but could last longer. Preeclampsia prevention. If you have a greater chance of getting preeclampsia, talk to your doctor about making lifestyle changes that can help keep you healthy. You might need to lose some weight if you're overweight, stop smoking, exercise regularly, get your blood pressure or blood sugar under control. Your doctor might also tell you to take a low-dose aspirin each day. But don't take any medications, vitamins, or supplements without talking to them first. I hope you find this helpful. Please subscribe for more interesting, evidence-based, educative and informative videos. Like and share this video. Turn on your notification icon so you can be notified when next I drop a new video. I desire for you good health and long life. See you in my next video. Till then, stay safe and remain healthy. Peace.